Hey there you guys, this is going to be another channel message, <clears throat> so reading, so I hope you guys are ready. I'm going to use these cards again, because I, I think these cards are really, really good, so I'm going to use these. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so this channel message, I feel like, um, I don't know where spirit is going with this, but this one is, I can read your mind. So maybe there's something that you know that someone... Um, else might think that you don't know like they think that they're on to something or that they they have something secret or they they have some secrets that they're keeping from you and they think that you don't know about them but you really do like you, you <coughs> excuse me sorry you might not have any physical proof or evidence to validate what you know <clears throat> let me speak my truth all right so you might not be able to validate this or confirm it or have any physical evidence, but you just know what you know. And whoever is involved, it could be multiple people um, involved, or it could just be different people that you just know things about and they feel like you, you don't know, but you got that insight. You might have even, you know, spirit might have even told you about something. And it doesn't have to be anything good or or negative it could just be whatever it is for you whatever these messages are they could be heads up you know in some way whatever the messages that you're getting trust them i feel so i'm just going to see what spirit says so what's up with this message divine spirit what is it that you want me to deliver <clears throat> what is the message divine spirit does this read your mind energy behind spirit what is this message okay this is weird so they're saying pull four cards from the top four cards from the bottom so that's what i'm gonna do Split the deck. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> and then we have the Eight of Wands at the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Eight of... Um, yeah, the Eight of Wands. It's Spectres. Or spe I hope I'm saying that right. In this deck. <clears throat> Alright. So... So we got the Queen of Wands here, the Princess of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Universe, which is the World, up here. So I feel like this is your energy, and this may be the other person involved, if I'm not mistaken. So with the Queen of Wands, <clears throat> this is someone who's highly... Um, I feel this person is highly gifted and intuitive, but not aware of it. I don't feel like the Queen of Wands gets her credit as far as her her intuition. Um, that black cat that she usually has with her, to me, symbolizes mystery and subconsciousness and magic and intuition. She doesn't... I feel like she doesn't know how capable she is or just how gifted she is. So I feel like you guys in this position... As the Queen of Wands, whether you're male or female, you guys don't know your power. You're in a powerful position and you don't recognize it. You don't see it. This person is holding on to something like they're just, they're not willing to give it up. They're afraid of losing something, whether they're afraid of, of losing <clears throat> you afraid of losing something their dignity their pride the facade that they put up so let me just get into the cards so you got the queen of wands like i said you're not seeing your power you're not believing in yourself so this is usually the sign of aries but it could also be leo and sagittarians um you know, even more so if these energies resonate with you, if these are your sun, moon, or rising signs. <clears throat> but um, 
I see here that you have some very valuable information. <clears throat> and you could have some information on a fire sign, you guys. You could have some information about a fire sign and... This person may not be hip to the fact that you know what's going on. And I don't I don't feel like they do. They don't have a clue that you know what's up. Because they have the four of pentacles at the bottom. So they're withholding something. They're keeping their secret. I feel like this is their secret. This mermaid, she has a book open, which is funny. Okay. There's some something. There's a book here with this mermaid. You see her? She's sitting here with with this beast or whatever he is a goat a bull whatever sitting before him and the bull he's got a lot of treasures and he's got some okay you could be the mermaid because the mermaid got has her book open it's also like that high priestess energy where she has she's the book of knowledge she holds all of that sacred information within her all of the deep dark secrets so you know something and this person has like all of these jewels they have a treasure chest and they're looking in it and they're they they're holding on to all of their prized possessions so there's something that they feel like is very prized or something that they treasure or some it could be their information it could be something some secrets that they're holding on to but you know already okay this person may feel like they they got one up on you and they're holding something but if you look at this mermaid she's got her her fin wrapped around this box here it's an empty box so it's like whatever this person thinks that they're keeping a secret or is valuable it really isn't valuable it's like you think you're doing something but you don't really have anything you, you're not you don't have anything Okay, what proof do you have? You don't have any proof, but you just know what you know. <clears throat> so you got the Princess of Spears, which is the Princess of Pent or the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this is like an opportunity or a message. So it could be surrounding that you feel like um, some type of opportunity is coming in in relation to the situation, like you're going to get some sort of correspondence and it might just take some time or you're waiting for some information to drop about the situation and it may take some patience or some time. And I feel like this person, because they have the hangman and it's odd the hangman came out reversed. So whatever this person is like holding on to out of fear of being judged by you or outside of society, their friends or their family, like whatever they're afraid of being like judged or shunned out. Uh, this person is going to I feel like do a 360. Like, you know what? I'm ready. I, I don't have any fears. So there's something that you're prepared. Like you want this person to show themselves or reveal the truth of themselves, not to you, but to everybody else. Like, be honest with everybody. Be honest with yourself, even. Like, you, you you, just want... I feel like you're waiting on proof. Like, this message... Can, it doesn't have to necessarily come from someone or them. It could simply just be that you want that physical proof, that physical evidence. Like, you want them to say something. I almost get, like... Um, social media like you want them to just be authentic with themselves like you want them to stop bullshitting themselves because it's almost like they're they feel like they can put on this facade with everybody else with the world because you see it's like they're in this like universe so it's like they feel like they can hide the truth but you are the only person i feel like you're the only person in the world that can see through them like it's that deep. Like you, you're the only person that can actually read this person, other than God, of course. You know, their creator. But you might not know everything. Like you, you're not. You're still the Queen of Wands, though. But you still got that that gift and that power. But you have some energy that others are not able to tap into about this person, their secrets. And you just want this person to be authentic with themselves. Like whether it's come out and tell this your wife the truth that you're not happy, that you want to leave her. Tell your husband the truth. Tell 
you know, be honest with everybody that you're gay. Be honest with everybody that you, whatever the case may be, like be authentic with yourself, regardless of how people are going to perceive you. And it could be around religion. Like they might not, they might not believe in some ideologies that they were raised to believe or some sort of traditions. Like be authentic and tell the world that you don't want to get married. Be true to yourself. It's like, just be real with me, like, and everybody else. Cause I already know the truth. So why don't you just be real? And they may be direct towards you. Or it could just be to the world. But I feel like it's a physical thing with the, the pentacles. I feel like this is something for everybody to see. Especially with the hangman right underneath. <clears throat> then you have the three of pentacles here. So this is definitely about social. And it's funny because the page of pentacles is a messenger. The three of pentacles to me represents collective and building and a community and communication and then you have the universe which is the world card and to me that represents the world wide web so the internet or something so this is like social media like this person may be very active on social media or they could just you know how some people like tell all their business on facebook or twitter and you know just like to spill all their their drama could be youtube whatever the case may be or just they like to write they're poetic people possibly whatever the case may be feel like you're waiting on this and it may be a little more personable it may not be for everybody to see it may be directly towards you but you're waiting because it's like i already know what's up with the three of pentacles like this is like connections third party situations there's a man with two women here it's almost like the old the lover's card like the traditional like the way way traditional tarot deck had the lovers depicted with a three a third party situation so could very well be that there's some deception here there's like multiple people involved whether it's a romantic situation or it's like people gossiping lying you know um a career like a business situation where there's some you know some people doing some sneaky things you know to get ahead or backstabbing you know all kinds of things so it's definitely going to come to light and then here got the three of swords you got the three of pentacles and the three of swords right in alignment with one another so it's something that this person is afraid to lose they're definitely afraid to lose especially if they have to give up some information like if you know somebody is doing something in the workplace that they shouldn't be you might be afraid of losing your job or losing a friendship if you need to be honest and tell someone that you're in love with them but you have a wife you might be afraid to lose that person you know there's so many different scenarios here involved but this person's definitely afraid of losing because it's this battle of righteousness. You know, they're fighting right or wrong. Like they feel like they're going to be shunned out by God or everybody else. Like they're just a bad person. They're the bad guy. They're the bad girl. Everybody's going to judge me. Everybody's going to hate me. And it's right next to the, the hangman. So I feel like this is being judged for doing something that just goes against everybody else what everyone else believes is right or wrong or what society says or what you've been raised or taught to believe or you know just afraid of judgment okay so the universe and the four of cups so the universe says something will be concluded like something is going to come to light it's definitely going to come to light and spirit guarantees it with the major arcana card here it's definitely going to happen with the four of cups this person may feel like they have to give up something with the four of cups um because they got too much baggage on them they got all these little deviant energies they might have to give up an unhealthy relationship or multiple relationships that are um negative because there's two energy these two people kissing but this guy is carrying this weight of all these these negative lower vibrational energies they may even want true authentic love but until they can get it or they may want something that their heart really desires whether it's love or a person or just something else you know just to be themselves or to live life how they want to have their own beliefs they may feel like it's something holding them back like every it's the odds are against me and i can't be authentic to myself i can't really have what i want and they just feel totally just at a loss emotionally 
with the eight of wands definitely surrounding communications definitely something that is going to cause a lot of shakeups or just a quick move like something that just happens quick and you know it's a cycle it passes on it passes through the hermit so you know this person might go mia just for a little while because it's like they need to process this whole situation <clears throat> the five of cups yeah this person is whether it's you or this person i feel like by the time that they come out and tell the truth you'll already be done with the situation you'll already be over it because it's like you've outgrown it and it just doesn't serve you anymore it doesn't fulfill you to be here this person may be saddened by this because they're gonna feel alone and that's kind of unfortunate. This could be someone that's really close to you. This could be like a good friend. This could be a lover. This could be a co-worker. This, you know, it could be someone important. They have some sort of significance in your life. Let's put it that way. But they got too much baggage. You know, they're not being real with themselves. They're being phony. They don't want to admit the truth to themselves. They have the seven of wands. This person is just like, I just get a lot of depression and a lot of distress because this person is not living authentic to who they are so therefore and even after they tell the truth about it it's like they're gonna have to sit with this and it's gonna feel like a devastating a devastating energy i feel like by that time you're just not gonna be there it's just like you were there but now you're gone like your role your role is is done and you have the seven of pentacles so this person is going to be in this energy for a little bit. And it's only because spirit wants them to take some time with themselves and have patience and really um, not be so hard on themselves. Because I feel like they don't want to even associate with others out of fear that they're going to be judged. Okay, so let's see where you're going to be at the conclusion of this. You have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like you're really, you're going to just move on. You're going to take what was here and move on and you have the high priestess which is your knowledge you already know what you know your job here is done there's nothing else you know you may even be wanting this person to apologize or be real and tell everybody else what they did to you because this person may have wronged you this person may have cheated on you this person may have um someone else on the side and then just had you or have you on the side and have somebody else and humiliated you um you know, I know the couple of people that have that done to them. You know, this person lied on them, um, humiliated them, or just, you know, humiliated them by not owning up to the truth and just not standing up for themselves or sticking up for that person or for you. And you just want that closure. And once you already know what's up and once you get what you deserve, deuces, peace, I'm out, bye. Have a good life. I wish you the best. Much love to you. Where they're going to be at with all of this as a conclusion. The two of wands. Okay, so the two of wands is like they're going to be at an energy where they might be fighting for you not to go. And then they got the magician card at the bottom. So I feel like they might be working really hard to keep you. Like they're trying to work this energy. It's like they're going to try to pull up their old tricks again to keep your energy invested in them and keep you pulling and calling you back. But like I said, you're done. Like there's nothing here for me. I'm, I'm over it. Like what else do you got? You ain't got nothing else for me. Bye. You know, I deserved the closure. You know, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, you know, being authentic with yourself and telling the truth, even if it's just that they tell the truth to you or they, they tell people involved or might tell like, a, a, like I said, like Facebook, um, Twitter or something, just be really real and authentic and express themselves to the point where you feel like, yeah, I already knew that. Yeah. Thank you for the validation or, you know. Thank you for the apology, whatever it is. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's what I see with that, you guys. I hope that this reading resonated with you, you guys, and gives you some insight and some clarity and some peace. Um, 
I just want to say, like, don't take any grudges with this person. Just, you know, just move on. You know, th there's nothing here for you. And I feel like when, like you'll see that in the end that there was nothing here from you or for you. And you got what you needed from the situation. They got what they needed from the situation. I feel like it was all a lesson. And it turned out that it helped this person to come out and be authentic and tell the truth. And for you to get the justice that you deserve. So that there can be the proper closure and you can move forward with your life with no hard feelings, you know, wishing this person the best. Because, I mean, they're going to go through it a little bit, but it's only a process because of that initial shock of what what has transpired for them. But um, they'll be good and you'll be fine. So that's pretty much it, you guys. As always, I send you much love and until the next reading, peace.